Good morning. What are you boys up to? Yes, Wesley. Okay, well, we can share all the Play Doh toys. We've got plenty, plenty of Play Doh toys. Wesley got dressed this morning and came down and said to me, Mom, look, I'm all in black today. <laughs> he always picks out his own outfits right now, and every day he picks out like actual matching yeah. shirt and pants. So it's either it's, gray, it's either it's gray like, and gray. It's a gray top then it's gray bottom. That's right. Like blue top, it's blue. <laughs> yep. Good morning and welcome back to my channel. We have had a good morning. We have our homeschool group today. And so we have to leave the house at nine on these days. And usually it's just a rush leading up to it, like getting this together, getting kids dressed, getting breakfast. And I just feel like we're usually rushing around. And this morning, I mean, it is like three minutes to nine. So we do have to, we do have to go. But it's been a really nice, pretty relaxing morning actually. I did, I try to get as much prep as I can get done the night before. And then, so this morning was a super easy, that is a really pretty pink. Um, we had Elijah made muffins yesterday for our breakfast today. And then I was kind of like, okay, I still gotta get this done, this done, I have to make lunch. And I was like, you know what, Elijah, come make lunch. I don't know why I make myself do everything sometimes. And so he made peanut butter and jam sandwiches for everybody this morning because we always have lunch yeah, while yeah, we're out. Yeah, yeah. The one um, thing I don't like about Play-Doh, it always gets stuck in my fingernails. <laughs> you know what, that's why I try, this thing. I try to get the kids to play with kinetic sand because I find kinetic sand so much yeah, less I messy kinetic, and so I much. I like kinetic sand better, but Wesley got this. Yeah, Wesley requested, um, Play Doh this morning. Anyways, it's time to put all the Play Doh away. I'm taking up the camera and I'm gonna make us late by, by yeah, talking. But welcome to way. today's video. Run We're it. just heading out the door. I think you're about old enough to figure out how to open an orange by yourself. These are called clementines and they're so easy to open. Okay, I'm gonna start it and I want you to work at it and try to take all the peel off. I know you can do it. Look at you. Well, kind of. Kind of? You're doing a pretty good job, Wes. Yep. We just got home and I'm just putting away stuff that we had at our homeschool group. So I got these little containers at um, Dollarama and I made each of the kids uh, a name label using my Cricut. So each of the kids now has their own little craft bin. We have a craft time at our homeschool group. So the kids were painting um, clay creations today. Uh, but I wanted to show you these totes. I had to bring, I brought both of these today. And I got these at Costco. You guys might remember seeing them at, in a Costco haul, but I just wanted to show you how simple these are. They just fold up like that. And then on the bottom side, there is this little strap. So you just take the strap over to the top to make that really nice and compact. And then I usually just tuck in any like extra bits of fabric there. But look how simple that is. And these kids are over here. We stopped on the way home. We had to go and get just a few groceries. And the kids come have been home. so, and come home. The kids have been so into games lately. But I was saying we bought Clementine. So the kids are each having an, an orange. And then you guys are playing what? A game of war? Well, it looks like we have war out and old maid out. So this is the things I painted with clay. There's that, they're ornaments. That one and this one, they're kind of similar. They're, those were like when I was running out of time. So. <laughs> you were rushed at the end. I love that one, it's really pretty. And this one. Yeah. I'm really and pretty. this one. Yeah. I'm really pretty. And this one. Super nice. One, hey, two, hey, hey, be gentle, be gentle with them. Zara, did you want to show me yours too? Yeah. Let's see. <gasps> they're so pretty. I can see them all when they're in here. I love the little lion face you made, Zara. Zara is having a birthday party tomorrow, and so we have a busy afternoon ahead of us. Usually we do all of our, our cleaning the house. You know, we do school every day of the week, and the cleaning is very minimal through the week. Like, we keep the kitchen clean. I'll usually vacuum a couple of times, but Saturday is our cleaning day where we clean the bathroom, mop the floor, do a whole bunch of laundry, dust, all that. But because we're having people over tomorrow for Zara's party, um, I wanna get a whole bunch of cleaning done this afternoon. But first, I told the kids they needed to go down for a quiet time because 
I don't know, we get home and it's just kind of craziness. Like, oh, can I have this? Can we do this? Let's play this game. Let's do this thing. And I'm like, oh my word, you guys, can I just have some lunch first? We packed peanut butter and jam sandwiches for the kids to have while we were out. But I thought I'm gonna come home and have like some scrambled eggs or something, something a little bit healthier. But then instead, while we were at Walmart, I bought this like cranberry pumpkin seed loaf of bread and we got home and I was like, yeah, I'm too lazy to do anything else. I'm just gonna toast some bread. So that was my lunch. And now I'm just enjoying another coffee. But I'm sitting here to tell you guys about this package. Uh, I got this big package. Any guesses what it is? I got this in the mail a few days ago and I've been waiting until filming day to show you what's in it, to open it and I have been excited about it. This is a new canvas for our wall from the company called Tailored Canvas. I'm sorry for the background noise of me opening this package, but Tailored Canvas is sponsoring today's video and I am so excited for you guys to see. Look at this! Look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness. I love that. Tailored Canvas creates high quality personalized decor they pay so much attention to detail and their service is amazing too. I have to tell you, um, I was looking through their website, which by the way, I will put some B-roll here showing their website. They have so many beautiful options. I especially was drawn to the, the options with Bible verses or lines from hymns, which is why I chose this one. But I chose this one and then after you've placed your order, they've created your product, they will send a picture over saying, can you please approve of this? And so I went in and looked at the picture they sent over and the border just wasn't quite what I wanted. The border looked more like a dark brown and as you can see, my border, I wanted this nice black border and so I like rejected, that sounds rude, but I like rejected the one they sent and I said, could I please get the border black? And they said, no problem, we'll send you another proof tomorrow or in a couple of days. So within a couple of days, I got another email saying, okay, do you approve of this? I said, yes, they sent it. They were just very careful to make sure that before sending it out, the product was gonna look exactly how I wanted it to look. Let me just show you this one more time. I love just the simple message on this canvas. Make sure you check out their website. They have endless options for personalized canvases to put on your wall, make your house a home. Too, right? We learned all about the staff. You practice middle C march. Uh -huh. Okay, where's middle C on the piano? This is always how we do our Saturday chore list. And so today I just wrote out a list for the kids. Zara's doing great. Simeon, did you not clean the bathroom mirrors yet? Yeah. You did? Okay, okay, go do it right now. Uh, Charity, Charity, you're you're done helping me with the game, right? Yeah. You got everything prepped. Okay, and then Elijah. <laughs> I've done two things. Why do you? <laughs> I just have piano left. Okay, so you just hadn't crossed out your chores. Yes, we're still working on 
Halloween treats here. And then I think I wrote on Zara's, yeah, to help me with birthday decorations. So we're just gonna hang up this banner for today. Our table always has a lot going on. Zara just finished doing some music theory. We've got snacks. Wesley, please don't draw in her book. My list is just a bit more extensive <laughs> than the kids' list is, but I am pretty close to the end of my list as well. And so we are about to go to the library. Elijah's just gathering all the books that we need to return. Yeah, did you not hear that? Yes, we're going to the library. Yes, as soon as you're done your snack. What? Oh, I always have these great intentions of um, going to the library on a weekly basis, but right now this fall we have things going on. Oh my goodness, where did you get that cup from? Almost every evening, like we only have one free evening all week. And so we just have not been going to the library. It's been how long, you guys? It's not been like crazy long. Three weeks? Only two weeks? No. Okay, it's been a little while. Basically, the kids are all done their books, and I can tell mm, they're not spending much time reading. That's when I know we need to get back to the library and get some new books. And I bet all the Christmas books are out, and we can find some new stuff to read. How many clips do I film? where Zara is in the background looking in the mirror. What are you doing, my dear? Oh yeah, I know what she's doing. She fell off uh, the table a few minutes ago and she's sure that her head is bleeding, but it's not. No, Do you I feel anything back there? The you wanna see the cut? The cut? It's yeah, because like, because <laughs> Zara, cut. Zara, it's a little bit pink. I look, she's like, mom, are you sure it's not bleeding? Is there a goose egg? It's a tiny bit pink and that's all I see. What because are you doing up there? Can you sit down to talk to me? Okay. Because mommy was mopping and I was on the chair and she said I'm going to take it so then she took it and I was there and then I forgot it wasn't there so then I decided to sit down and then I fell and I bumped my head on the corner of the wall. That's right. I told you I'm moving this chair and you forgot and tried to sit back down, right? Yeah. Okay. How is the stack of books coming, Elijah? Good. Let's go see. Oh, it's all done. Okay, so here is our... Here is our library bin, which is usually overflowing with books. <laughs> and so here's our library bag that's overflowing with books. And I'm sure we'll bring home just as many again. I'm gonna get this table set back up. Can you guys help me get the table set back up so when we come home, we can eat supper? Excuse me. Hey, don't say no to mommy. What do you say when mommy tells you to do something? What should your answer be? It's mom. That's right. Okay, I have to end this clip really, really quick because I only have 10 seconds left before my camera is full of footage. So we're gonna end really quick here. Thanks for watching, you guys.